Look at the size of this box. <laughs> Are they trying to marry me or what? I bet there's a wedding cake in here. Yeah, okay, sorry about the bad jokes. But seriously, this box is insane. Um, I think this is actually the reviewer's kit box, so let's open it up. Oh, and the first thing I'm noticing is I don't need to open it up because it's one of those like self-opening boxes. So let's do it. Ready, set. Jurassic Park music. That's a pretty cool box, but this is the actual box the new Motorola Razr comes in. Let me get this out of the way here. Let's just put that off to the side. And yeah, it actually looks just like the box that the version that came out in February came in. It's got that really cool vertical stance. I think I made this joke back in February. It looks a bit like a coffee grinder. Something tells me what's in here is better than coffee. Um, but what's neat is you can actually see the phone through the top of the case without even opening it. Ah. All right, let's try this. Ready, set, here is the brand new version of the Motorola Razr folding phone. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the box there. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. We don't need it right now. Got the Razr on the front part there. And then on the back side, we have a little case with the accessories. Something that Motorola was really excited about with this box is that you could actually keep it and you can put the Motorola Razr into the stand and we play music, it helps amplify it a bit. How many phone boxes do you have that do that? Okay, so let's start with this case here. It's the accessory case. Also looks like a high-end sunglass case. All right, and there's this really cool metal tag here with the word Razr on it. If I open it up, there we go. You can see there's some documentation on the inside there and a bunch of little accessory things that we need. So let's take a look at those, all right? Let's see here. Let's start with the documentation. Let's see, what is this? Is a little how to put a SIM card in your Razer phone. And then we have here a legal safety and regulations guide. We don't need that. And then we have here a Motorola Razr kind of quick start guide. What's neat about this is there's a, not only a lot of physical improvements, the hardware, but some also feature improvements like the quick view display. You can put apps on that now. All right, let's jump in accessory. But before we do, we got to acknowledge the amazing sun beam that's hitting me and the wedding box here. Next, we have a wall charger here. All right, and this has a USB-A port on that wall charger. Cool. And it does support turbocharging. We also have a SIM card tool, so you can install your SIM card, but also a lot of people might not know this, that the Motorola Razr actually can support eSIM as well. So you can actually have dual SIMs, one a physical card and one an eSIM. Also, it does have 5G, so you can get that. Let's see if I... All right, we have a charging cable here. It's USB-C to USB-A, awesome. And last but not least, we have a dongle. How about that? So we have a USB-C to headphone jack dongle because there is no headphone jack built into the Razer. Eh, you know, that's okay. And that's it. The, our little accessory box is officially empty. So let's see if I can close it all up. There we go. But let's get on to the main event. Enough of my jibber jabber here. Let's get on to the brand new Motorola Razer. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the box here. Let's just put our acoustical stand over here for now. Ooh, we got a little peel. Oh, here, I'll save this. Okay. Not a big sound there, but that's the quick view display on the front or outside. But this is the main screen. It has a factory Motorola screen peel on it. It says, warning, do not apply a screen protector as it will damage the display. So then we're gonna peel this off now, let's see. There we go, be very quiet. Let's take a listen. Come on, we have a foldable phone. I gotta fold it, let's do it. Are you ready? A couple first impressions here. This feels 
solid. This feels nice. Um, not to say that the first one did not, but I think the big difference is, is the, the frame of this is being from aluminum and the back is glass versus that composite. So it feels nice and premium in the hand. The, um, I don't know, the hinge here, this seems like it almost has like, like shoulder pads or something on it, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I noticed like it kind of gives me a place for my thumb and index finger to go, which is really neat. And uh, let's try to one hand open it. You guys ready? Oh yeah, that's, let's see if I can do it left-handed without breaking anything. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's really easy to open one-handed. The first one was pretty easy. You'd have to give it a nice solid wrist whip, uh, but this is nice, yeah. And I think part of that is the tapered chin. So, so something I noticed too is the fingerprint sensor that was on the front has now moved to the back. I think that would be kind of cool. Let me see, when you have your, in your hands here, your finger goes basically right there. Feels pretty comfortable. If you look at it here, the gap is fully closed. So that, that's one of the primary differences between something like this and the Galaxy Z Flip. On the front, there's a different camera now. The first Motorola that came out in February, the camera on it almost looked like an Audi belly button. I actually thought it looked pretty cool the way they integrated it. Uh, but this new camera is supposed to be better spec. It has 48 megapixels. It has quad pixel binning. So it means you're gonna get images with low image noise and, uh, and like that medium light situation, your images will be maybe a little bit brighter, which will be great. On the first Motorola Razr, the buttons were all on the right side. So you had the volume rocker and the power button. Here I got the volume rocker on the right side and on the left side I have the power button. So that'll be helpful. I can't tell you, granted I had it like, um, I don't know, 10 days, almost two weeks. It was very confusing still in my muscle memory to remember which button was which, because they were all really close together too. So this should make it much easier. So let's turn this on. All right, get there. Cool, we got the Motorola logo on the internal display, but also the external display. the unboxing is over. But if you want more about this Motorola Razr, there's some great news, and that's because of time, deadlines, and pre-recorded video. You could actually watch my first look video all about the Motorola Razr right now. In fact, if you're on YouTube, it's probably the one right next to this one. And I go much more in depth about the Motorola Razr, um, all the new changes and the differences between it and the one that came out in February. 